Hi friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping in. And today we are going to be doing some acrylic blank badge reels. So we are actually gonna be making a bunch of them. So these are, we've got our urine here. You're in good hands. And I just use my Cricut to, you know, type out my font there for that. So there's this one. Then we've got our little avocado nurses with their little avocado beans. And we've got our brain, the RN on there. And we've got sushi. And we've got our lungs. With our lungs, we've got a ventilator. And we've got a little pill. And we've got a little pill bottle. And then we've got our saline bag. Salty like normal saline. So these blanks, the majority of them come from Moxie blanks. These, I believe this one and this one and this one. So these three come from third degree lasers. That's these. And then these ones here came from Moxie vinyls. And all of them um, do give you the SVGs. So with the third degree laser, you um, have to join their Facebook group. And then on the Facebook group, you can get um, all of the SVGs so that you can put them to whatever projects that you're um, that you're making. And then on the Moxie vinyls, you log into your website, their website under your account, and then they give you the ones that you have, um, the SVGs to the ones that you have ordered. And yeah, so super cute. And I really like them a lot. So I hope that you guys, um, enjoy it and I hope that it is helpful and I hope that you guys have a blessed and beautiful day. If this is your first time visiting, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subby friend and if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Stay tuned and we will make all of these badge reels. I'll see you guys later. Bye! So I'm gonna start out with all of my blanks. Now, most of the time your blanks, especially if it's cast acrylic, it comes with brown paper on it, but generally your blanks will come with paper on both sides of it to keep them from being scratched. So take off the brown paper to the side that you're working on first. Now make sure that you line your piece up to, you know, so that you have the right side for as you're printing it. You know what I mean? Because if you turn it one way or the other, sometimes that's not the right side for your picture to go on. Now, I like to take like a little medicine cup, put a piece of tape on it, and I put my acrylics on there so that it kind of holds it. It has something to sit it up. It just makes it much easier to work with. Now, when you're doing acrylic blanks, if you, you have a choice, you can either glitter on one side and then put what your decal or writing or whatever you're doing on the other side, or you can do it both on the same side. The difference is if you do it both on the same side, then it just like looks like one kind of like flat image. If you do it one side glitter and one side with your image, 
especially if your image doesn't cover the whole thing. If your image kind of covers the whole thing, not a big deal if you just have some poking out. But if it's if it's only like little, you know, pieces of it and a lot of the backside shows through, then it gives it like a 3D effect. So just sort of think about that as you're putting it together, what you want it to look like. So like I said, depending on where you buy your acrylics, your SVG will come to you in different ways. Um, usually you just go on your order and do your login and it will give you the SVG. Some of them want you to join like a Facebook group. So I used Print and Cut to put my images on. You can, of course, you know, cut them out in different pieces and use vinyl, whichever way you want. I do both ways, just depending on what I'm trying to go for. And now, if you are going to do a print and cut, a print then cut on a piece that is an SVG, you get all your colors together, highlight the whole thing, make sure it's all like attached, highlight the whole thing, and then hit flatten and flatten will allow you to turn it into a print then cut just in case you didn't know that so then i go through and i add all of my images and then i'm going to do my uv resin so since i got this new uv resin this stuff is so 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 good it comes out super hard it's resin rockers and it comes out super hard just like it was epoxy like I am truly loving this stuff so I put all my I'm gonna put on all of my decals that I cut with my with my Cricut and then I will put my UV resin over it now I am gonna take a lighter and go over the UV resin just to get out any you know bumps any bubbles stuff like that now if I was using a mold I don't like to use a lighter because it can melt them I use my heat gun but on acrylics lighter don't do, does not bother anything so I just use a lighter and go over it. and the lighter not only will it take out the bumps, but it also helps to make your UV resin nice and smooth. And then I'll put each piece in the, under the UV light for its amount of time. And then after that's all done and I'm satisfied, then I'll go through and add different beads to them. And then in the, in the button center, I'll go in and add some glitter mixed with UV resin to make it look like a little jewel inside the button. Now, putting on the beads and all of that stuff is gonna be in fast mode, but I will add, I have a short three minute video that I will put in the description if you don't know how to add beads to your badge reels. And it's super easy, super quick, and I'll put that in the description just so that you'll know how to do it if you need to. And because I'm doing so many of them, though, I just sort of like did it in fast mode over it. All right. So listen, I hope you enjoy this. I'm just going to put on some music and let them keep playing. And I hope that you guys have a blessed and beautiful day, friends. And I'll see you later. Please hit the subscribe button and give it a big thumbs up. Bye, friends.